starting Eight, in a reverse seven, formation. It's six, actually going to go back first. Five, four, they love it. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. All right, whittle by whittle, driven by Brycean Cascus, the captain of Slapbox on BattleBots. You just run by Team Brutus. There's an awful lot of members of Team Brutus on Team Huge on BattleBots. These Ooh. are two BattleBots builders here. That was a big hit, and it looked like it was, was maybe a hit on the body of Huge. Am I seeing a belt loose on Whittle by Whittle? Well, there's a belt on the ground. I don't see, uh, yeah, it looks like that out. saw blade is not powered, but the weapon on Huge is down as well. That'll and happen in one, those types of exchanges. This one will come down to control here, it seems. Now, uh, when you're facing a, a big wheeled robot like Huge, what you're trying to do really is what? Attack the wheels or attack the body? What, what would you say, Chris? Well, I mean, when you have a, a bot with a you know an arm like Whittle by Whittle, um, you have a, you have a chance to reach up and attack, yeah. and you can attack from underneath. That's like that's something that a, a bot like Huge is not necessarily prepared for. You know, it's keeping those vital components up off the ground, hoping that no other weapon gets to them. Yeah. I think one of the things here with Huge is we're seeing like kind of this older style of wheel. Uh, you know, cleats are really incredibly important for these plastic wheels. I think that uh, if we see Huge again next year, it may be running Star Child's uh, like cleats because you can see it kind of spinning in this box. It looks like it's almost on a you know, ice skating or something. Mm. Um, it's not getting the kind of traction that I think that this team would love to have. Bryce Yankask is getting under huge. And uh, yeah, just trying to rack up as many uh, control points as possible. Trying to push huge onto its side. Just not a lot you can do against a bot like huge when, when you're trying to push it around. It's just, you know, you, you get under it, but it's on top of you. The optics of it doesn't necessarily translate if you're being aggressive. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of things to consider if you're a judge right now. 45 seconds left in this match. It's going to come down completely to control. Looks like damage is basically split. Aggression, I don't know. Aggression seems like it's maybe whittle by whittles. I bet you both of these drivers would pay almost any amount of money to uh, have a working weapon right now, Chris. Yeah, winner's bracket round two. You know, this is, this is where you got to start strutting your stuff. 20 seconds left here in this match. This one will absolutely go to the judges. Barring a catastrophic fire or something very exciting. Something that uh, Governor McCord, I'm sure, would like to see. 10 seconds left. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, that's the match. Drive to the door if you can. This one goes to the judges. Little round of applause. Yeah, right. yeah, definitely. I don't know. Twenty seconds of uh, action, and uh, two minutes and forty seconds of pushing. It happens, Chris. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I mean, like they—they they both lost their weapons basically simultaneously. Right, looking and over at the box now, I can—I think I can definitely see that belt there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Off of whittle by whittle. I. I mean, I'm not a judge, but uh, I feel like all of the aggression... Oh, my... Listen here. Okay. Matthew, Peter, and Jack, this is not okay. Look at you. You gave us the option to split damage. Why shouldn't we? <laughs> a little you've by said, little. You've, you've said multiple times, congratulating the competitors for pushing the rules and everything. <laughs> and we're, just, we're just falling in the spirit of Norwalk.